Happy Giving Tuesday, everyone. <laughs> we are here at the Wildcat Sanctuary with Crazy Daisy. <laughs> Hi, beautiful girl. <laughs> And Daisy's gotten some enrichment here, including a lot of scents. <laughs> but out of all of her toys, guess what she picked? She picked some grass <laughs> and twigs as her favorite. <laughs> so it's nice to uh, see and hear everybody over Facebook. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Um, today is Giving Tuesday and it's our way of giving back to you today to show you some of your favorite cats having <laughs> a wonderful time with their life here at the sanctuary. Daisy is being very smart about uh, <laughs> she gave it a big hiss and a big whack before she's enjoying the scent. <laughs> And we know you have so many nonprofits to give to, and we are so thankful for um, all your support during. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if I can get this girl. So, um, hope you guys are enjoying Giving Tuesday. We know you have so many wonderful charities to choose from. And we are so blessed that TWS continues to be one. So many of you gave during Give to the Max and helped us exceed that goal of four months of operating. So thank you. And today, we really just want to thank you for unleashing generosity all year long you do with us and the cats. <laughs> and it's amazing to think back when Daisy was just uh, coming to us and all the vet care she needed and the struggle she had walking and the pain she was in from spinal meningitis and that broken foot to see her this wonderful amazing tiger today um, i know so many of you were with us uh, when daisy first arrived and wondering if you guys remember daisy and mohan's uh, kind of first few days here at the sanctuary <laughs> And Daisy will, uh, sorry it's freezing up if the, the live post is, if we're having some internet issues. But, uh, hi, <laughs> are you stalking us? <laughs> Uh-oh, you just kicked your ball over this way. Now what? So Daisy will always be imperfect, imperfective, what, what do I say? Uh, perfectly imperfective. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Perfectly uh, I'm sorry, she, I'm totally losing my track today because I'm watching this girl, but she, um, yeah, we have no snow, but she's always going to be Daisy where, you know, she's perfectly imperfect is what I was trying to say while I was watching her, is that she'll always have her little quirks, her head tilt, but things that make her specifically Daisy. Um, and, uh, you know, crazy Daisy still there, just in adult form. She has so much fun. Uh, she loves to run around. <laughs> People are saying that remember when her and Mohan arrived. I mean, she was such a stocky girl with a unique body, and now she is a, just a lean, beautiful, gorgeous tiger. Um, it's just your donations, <laughs> your support have really given this girl a second chance at life, and um, we're forever grateful for that. There's not a day that goes by that we don't think about that, that um, it wasn't just us, but it was all of us together all of you that gave this girl a second chance. <laughs> Hi, silly. <laughs> and so today I'm hoping to take you on a little walk to see uh, maybe Gino, Marcus, and Pandora as well. But first I wanted to see how Daisy does with the rest of her enrichment. She usually likes to knock things down and hiss at it, but she has really loved this perfume. This perfume is Jovan Musk. It was actually donated for Dash, and he, of course, was so willing to share a couple sprays here with uh, Daisy, and she just loves marking over that Jovan Musk scent. <laughs> Another a hiss and then a play. A hiss and a play. <laughs> So 
So it's uh, just wonderful to just kind of come out here on a day like today. The snow has been melted. Uh, <laughs> you know, we've had sun earlier. Now we don't have sun, but it's still warm. The cats are all out. Uh, <laughs> we also had our USDA inspection today and uh, went through it with flying colors and got a perfect inspection report. So we're always thrilled about that. We continue to try and go above and beyond for the cats. So not only are we USDA licensed, but we are accredited by the Global Federation of Animal uh, Sanctuaries, which even sets higher standards of care, um, safety, all of that uh, to you know to make sure that we're always doing right by the animals we're always learning and we're always doing more and more each and every day for every one of these special cats <laughs> daisy you're not going to let me go take a walk around and see anybody else are you because you definitely want to be the show off here <laughs> So if you're just joining us, we're the Wildcat Sanctuary in Sandstone, Minnesota. We're an accredited rescue group. We're here with Tiger Daisy and just talking about her before and after story. Um, this is just amazing to see her today from where she came from. She, oh, big chuff. Uh, we were called by the USDA to come rehome her uh, from a facility in Michigan. She was having trouble walking. She was roaring at herself. Um, she was really um, not in good shape. They thought we might just have to euthanize her. And luckily with a lot of help from the University of Minnesota and several vet visits, we were able to diagnose her with spinal meningitis and treat that. Well, the lions are uh, definitely joining us today. So the lions are wishing a, a happy <laughs> Giving Tuesday as well. So um, <laughs> let's see what she plays with next. Because Daisy, we're going to move on to say hi to some other cats. Are you going to allow that? Beautiful girl, where are you going? Where are you going? Chuffing, chuffing. <laughs> You're going to chuff at all your Facebook fans? <laughs> all right, we're going to head down and see if Gino or Marcus or Pandora want to say hi. <laughs> we uh, know we're getting prepared here for the winter. All the winter water buckets have been put in. The extension cords. All the heated indoor buildings have all their straw boxes and bed boxes. We've had all the boilers serviced to make sure they work. We even had to replace the Roar Ridge boiler, which was about $6,000. And uh, making sure that we, our generators always work. We have backup generators here at the sanctuary, knowing winter's coming. Let's see if Gino, Gino is up in his front habitat, but Marcus is, I can see, already walking down his fence line to join us. But Gino is starting to join the choir, I see. There's Marcus. So Marcus is another success story that you guys made possible. Um, he has my heart. And not only because he's Dash's father, but because he is just a sweet and kind soul that has been through so much. <laughs> You see, you got a little, he's got a little cut on his nose from rubbing along the fence. It's superficial. Doesn't seem to bother him at all. But let's take a walk. So Marcus is doing extremely well, but you know um, he definitely has that arthritis and spondylosis. Uh, so he's kind of got that geriatric body, but he has been running along the fence with us walking, rolling, um, doing everything a happy tiger does. <laughs> and a long way he came from being his little mud, little mud pit of an enclosure, just being used for breeding. Now he's a happy, handsome solo boy <laughs> who is just a sweetheart. <laughs> Thank you. 
And we always see him. Needs. He's have a beautiful girlfriend next door, right, Pandora? So much chuffing. <laughs> so much chuffing. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Miss Pandora, you're such a sweetheart. You are. Can I see your belly today? Are you going to show me your belly? I'd like to see your belly. So Pandora usually loves to walk with us. <laughs> Chuff, say hello. And then when we stop, she usually will roll over and show us her belly. <laughs> so yes, Judson's out sick today, but we're uh, hoping he feels better soon. Um, so you have me and Melody. So you'll want to tune in this afternoon too, around 3.15. Melody and caretaker Jess, there's that belly. Oops, I walked too close. <laughs> Pandora plays such a game with me. <laughs> she gets all of us to come up closer by showing us her beautiful belly. But this time I took a step too soon, didn't I? Where is your belly? Um, so all of the cats here uh, at the sanctuary are just so thankful that they have all of you. They are so lucky that they've all been rescued from different conditions, different backgrounds, but able to finally be able to be tigers, even though it's still tigers in captivity. Our goal is one day with more support like yours that we can continue to educate to keep the wild in your heart, not your home. Um, tigers shouldn't even be at sanctuaries like ours. They should be able to live wild and live the way they were meant to be. But until that day, we have all of you here to support us to make sure cats like beautiful Marcus here, who's taking a walk with me, um, get to know what compassion is, get to know what being treated appropriately is, um, and getting to live in a retire home for as long as they can comfortably and pain-free. <laughs> and Marcus, I appreciate the walk so much. <laughs> Hi, handsome. <laughs> and we'll see if Gino, yep, Gino's roaring, but he's roaring at the front of his habitat. Let's see if he can start a caroling session. trying to be quiet so you guys could hear them. They're very active today. And that was young Gino the lion who started caroling first and actually got all the lions on the property to carol back. That's a pretty big accomplishment for such a young lion. And Daisy's just hanging out with her toys. <laughs> oh, a big sneeze, maybe from the scents you've been rubbing. <laughs> she just looks peaceful and quiet. And that is exactly what your support enables. We're gonna go say hi to Daisy one more time, but your support allows us to have these quiet, special afternoons where we just get to see the cats relax have fun and say hello. And honestly, from the bottom of my heart, I can't thank you all enough for being such an important part of the work we do. Uh, we know there's a lot of good accredited sanctuaries doing great work and um, we appreciate that you support them as well. We all could not do the rescues we do without wonderful people like you. Um, and so Giving Tuesday is a great time to give if you haven't given your year-end gift. But for those that already gave and gave so generously on Give to the Max, thank you for that. <laughs> and we're going to sign off with Miss Daisy just being so relaxed, comfortable. <laughs>
and just being here as always. Thank you everyone and have a happy, happy uh, Giving Tuesday and stay tuned for 315 when you'll get a special treat with Melody uh, and Leopard Shadow will be her feature.